Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 -0. Thank you for tuning into another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in today's video, I've got an interesting topic for you guys. I've had my 2019 Mustang DT with the 10-speed transmission for about a year and a half. But today I want to comment on the gas mileage of this 2019 Mustang DT and what you can expect out of a big 5.0 V8. Now obviously when you're getting a muscle car with a big V8, your gas mileage is not really your top concern or top priority when you're shopping for those kind of cars. You know you're not going to get a good gas mileage, let's face it. But if this big 5.0 V8 can get you really good gas mileage compared to the other competitors, then why wouldn't you search for it? Now the 5.0 in the Mustang makes 460 horsepower and 420 foot-pound of torque. So you can already see it's a performance-oriented V8 and not a luxury crew cruiser or a fuel-efficient V8. So let's see what we can expect to get out of a 2019 Mustang DT in terms of fuel economy. Now I run mostly 93 octane uh, in my 2019 Mustang GT, but as you guys may know, in the Ford owner's manual it says 87 is okay to run. I did run 87 for a little bit uh, just to see. I personally did not see much of a difference, but now I've turned back to 93 just because it's such a high compression engine and you don't want it to knock, especially if I'm going to keep the car for a long term. Now keep in mind that the gas mileage can differ from person to person because the way you drive and the type of commute you have, if you're going to be doing all city driving, your gas mileage is going to be a lot different than someone who does all highway driving. And even then you have to kind of factor in, are you racing from stoplight to stoplight or are you just barely giving any throttle? So I think it's important to know how I drive my 2019 Mustang GT so you guys can get a perspective what to expect. So I want to say I drive my 2019 Mustang GT with the 10-speed transmission about 50-50 split in terms of city and highway driving. And as you've, you guys have seen from my clips, it's not driven like very conservatively, but I'm also not racing from stoplight to stoplight or flooring it every moment I get. I try to still have my fun with the car, but still like to play it, you know, a little bit conservative because, you know, I intend to keep this car for a very long period of time and I don't want any issues later down the road. So the EPA estimate for the 2019 Mustang GT with the 10-speed transmission is 16 city, 25 highway, and 19 combined. Now keep in mind the EPA estimates are very, very conservative because the whole point of it is to maximize the fuel economy and propose better results. So obviously a lot of people in their car cannot really meet that because if you, especially if you've got a performance car like this 5.0, you're not going to be driving really, very conservatively. There's going to be time where you want to get a want to have some fun and obviously the EPA doesn't account for that so let's see what I'm getting personally on my 2019 Mustang GT now that we have the EPA numbers in. Alright so on my 2019 Mustang GT with the 10-speed transmission driving about 50% city 50% highway let's see what we're getting so oops sorry click here trip and fuel oh wow so I'm getting actually 20.6 average, which is pretty darn good. 19 is the combined for the EP estimate. So given how I drive, I would have actually expected it to be around 19 miles per gallon or maybe even 18 and a half or so. But I'm pretty stoked to see it's 20.6. So it's definitely higher than I expected it to be. And I'm beating the EP estimate. If you guys have seen my videos where I have taken a long trip on this Mustang, I ended up actually getting about 26 miles per gallon to the highway. And the most I've seen in a trip where I barely got on any gas was 28 miles per gallon, which to me, I think is just insane for a 5.0 powered car with 460 horsepower. Now, the biggest contributor to this impressive fuel economy on my 2019 Mustang GT is this 10-speed automatic transmission. 10-speed automatic transmission does an amazing job keeping your revs low when you're just cruising on the highway and saving you some fuel. I feel like if it wasn't for the 10-speed transmission, I wouldn't be seeing anywhere close to these numbers. 10-speed is an amazing transmission, especially for the fuel economy and not to say the power as well. It puts the power down so efficiently, keeps you in the power band. If you're getting better fuel economy with it, why not take it? As you know, most performance mod decrease the fuel economy, but this one, not so much. Overall, I'm really happy with the fuel economy that my 2019 Mustang GT is giving to me with the 10-speed transmission. I have to say I'm really, really, really impressed. So by all means, if you're considering a 2019 or 2018 and up Mustang GT, then definitely look for the 10-speed transmission. It's an amazing transmission and you'll be more than impressed. Well guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video on the fuel economy of my 2019 Mustang GT with the 10-speed transmission. Make sure you give that a like. 
and subscribe to Red 5.0 so you don't miss out on future videos.